Let it all out, man. <laughs> We're all feeling the same way tonight. I'm sorry, I thought I was alone. Yeah, well, nothing is what it seems anymore. You know, an hour ago, I was thrown back to Kila celebrating the three lines I got into a 10,000 word speech. I swear to God, I don't know how the hell we're gonna get through this. Same way we always do. <laughs> yeah, right. Do you even know who's in charge right now? I'm asking because I, I can't even remember his name. Kirkman, Tom Kirkman. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, Kirkland, that's right. The lowest rung on the ladder. And hey, do you know President Richmond fired him this morning? Now he's the president. He's the one the country's gonna be turning to in our darkest hour. Well, maybe he'll surprise you. Yeah, you mean maybe he'll realize he has no business running the country? That he should just step aside? Maybe let one of the generals take over or the CIA director, somebody who actually knows what the hell they're doing? Fat chance of that happening. Nobody around here ever gives up power. Kirkland's a follower. We need a leader. I'm telling you, man, I got half a mind to make a run to Canada. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Canada. Uh, Mr. President. Do you really believe everything you just said? No, uh, Mr. President, let me explain. What's your name? Seth Wright. Seth Wright. You're a speechwriter. I saw you coming out of Charlie's office earlier this morning. You were arguing about the president's address. Uh, the AB 33 section. Housing reform. You really think I should step down? I do. You may be right. But for now, I'm all you got. And you have exactly 52 minutes to write a speech convincing the American people that that's a good thing. <laughs>